Hi everyone, it's Razzle Kane and I'm back with another review, but I want to do something different. I recently acquired the Jinbao Devastator set, and which is a very stylized version of the Constructicons. And they're MP scales, uh, they're big, they look amazing in every mode. Uh, I want to do a, a week of Jinbao, so starting some Monday, today we're the 18th of July. And I'm having a terrible week so far. I tested positive for COVID. My air conditioning compressor is uh, broken and it's only getting fixed uh, in four days. So we're not sleeping well. I'm, I'm sick. I should be probably uh, in a bed right now, but uh, I have too many robots that I recently acquired and I want to clear my, uh, my desk area because it's kind of cluttered right now. So that's my plan. Uh, so I want to, if everything works out, um, you'll have a video uh, each day, uh, but it, they might not be premiere uh, all of them this time, because uh, I don't think I'll be able to attend every time uh, if I'm sick. So. Anyway, um, I'm going to do them in order of preference from least to most favorite, and I'll end with Devastator, uh, probably on a Sunday. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this series, and because uh, I know I'm having tons of fun playing with these guys. So the first one is going to be Mixmaster, which is by far the weakest link in this set. Uh, it's foot mode, uh, it's not solid, and uh, it bends over, so Devastator is hard to make stand because of that. So I'll try to do a fix, I have a couple ideas, but I'm... Not that good at fixing robots, so anyway. Uh, so Mixmaster uh, looks, as you can see, very stylized, so we're gonna take a look at that. I have no box that came with this. I have uh, Japanese instructions, uh, like this, and they're not... Uh... Okay, I'm colorblind, which is uh, something I've been you know, telling people since day one. And um, the green color with the red, um, you know whatever you do the step is in red sometimes it's really small like it's a small piece and I have a hard time spotting it so it took me a while to figure out how each transformation works some of them uh, have more steps than others but I managed and uh, oh yeah also the devastator he has a light that goes in the back of his head so that's that's uh, it lights up the eyes uh, so that's pretty cool can't wait to show this to you guys. So hopefully you'll enjoy this uh, quick series and, uh, you know, maybe I'll get a couple more subscribers. Uh, don't forget to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm extremely proud of. And also uh, wait until the end of the video to get your discount code for DJC Collectible, my sponsor. And without further delay, I'm going to go get some medicine and get this, uh, this series started. H2SO4 with the uh, with that HCL with the uh, I know I'll combine some of each of the stronger acids. All right, so straight out of the box. Well, the box. That's the thing. I don't have a box to show. I have the instruction, the accessory, and the figure. Uh, taking a look at the accessory, uh, they fold and move around there's articulation in them because every weapon can be stored inside the robot mode and uh, not the real robot the uh, alt mode and it's pretty good but you need nails for most of them and now i shouldn't have done that because i can't pick it up anyway uh, off camera work uh, but yeah so very detailed nicely done uh, all right i like the uh ingenuity of having uh, all these hide in uh, the alt mode uh, and even in uh, the devastator mode uh, they're hidden so that's uh, pretty good so there's no loose piece that you have to keep around uh, the instructions are for the most part good but you see here that's the that's what i mean like it's i know this is red and this is green i am colorblind to an extent but sometimes it, they're just gonna show a little piece that moves and i have a hard time finding them 
Uh, they're not Hasbro's instruction, right? And that's what I'm really used to. Uh, but they do the job. It says Builder, but I think they're all called Builder. Uh, Dr. Crank and uh, the instructions. Well, let me check. Yep, they all say Builder uh, here. So this is no representation of the name of the character. Uh, but he's McMaster. Um, I know the Devastator form is Gravity Builder. I was expecting to see that somewhere, but uh, we don't. You have the Jinbao thing. I guess this is figure number three. It's all Japanese decks. Oh, yeah. And now the figure itself is... Okay, when you look at it like this, it looks good. And I'm actually, you know, happy that my setup isn't uh, too, uh, too small. Uh, Devastator might be another issue, though. But he looks good. It's just that is, I don't like the feet. Uh, if depending on how I move him, you have all these ratchet, it's, they look tight, but sometimes he's gonna fall on his back, depending on how you want to pose him, so you have to be careful with that. I mean, huge kibble on top, and I was looking at pictures of, uh, the original Mixmaster, uh, that wasn't there, I mean, this is kind of a missile pod, uh, you can, I think you can actually... Nah, I don't want to force it, but I think you could, you know, there's a kind of a switch here. So I guess if you want, you could push it forward. Uh, but I'm not going to risk it. Uh, now the light piping. How do I show this? Hold on. Okay, everything's in the way on this guy. So, yeah, I guess you can see it a little bit. There you go. I mean, that backpack kind of defeats the whole purpose of having light piping I mean once you put that here uh, that's it you know and then you just close that back up so you don't have a full uh, tank oh, sorry I had to put him back together so yeah that's the uh, light piping uh, the it's I don't know it they could have do something else with that huge overhaul on top it it, it kind of looks just silly uh, might be practical in combat to have a rocket launcher right there but I'm not seeing it the gun actually I think the guns don't hold super well some do some don't but they're you know they're a little loose but it works I'm gonna remove that all right taking a look at the figure the head sculpt is pretty good I mean it's kind of faithful uh, you have detail. There's a lot of little translucent uh, pieces, like here. Maybe it's not showing super well on camera, but there is. Everything moves on this guy. I mean, he has the Ferris wheel at the arm. You have this arch, uh, upper articulation, and you have the elbow. You can actually put him backward because there's a connection here uh, there's a good oh just 90 elbow and then the hand will rotate uh, same thing on the other side there's a there's no ab crunch but there is a side by side because of the foot mode and that's one of the reason he's loose but whatever uh, the head if you could reach it would do a 360 potentially I'm not gonna force it you have a rotation here you have a nice ratchet right here that sounds good I mean it sounds solid this never really clips on properly but it works uh, I think this part here you can rotate by itself so you have a double rotation you have one above and then you have one under so not that you need it but it's there uh, you have a double jointed knee looks pretty good and then this yeah this is supposed to clip and hold but maybe I'm doing it wrong uh, and then you have the feet, 
which uh, I, I don't really like. Like I said, Mixmaster is not my favorite. But you have this kind of uh, feet with the rotation at the back, like it, everything is pushed forward, and then you have the the foot who I think is a little too backward, and then you have this that rotates very easily so sometimes it just you move it around and then it slips back in and then you lose your balance and then you have this here that doesn't really hold together well it doesn't clip it just sits there um, so that's a problem in uh, devastator mode that's where the uh, the whole thing kind of just falls apart but it happens um, Still a very stylized uh, figure. I mean, you have green plastic, purple, the silver. Uh, everything is nice. The details uh, on the windshield. And uh, even this part, although I don't like it, it's well done. I mean, it, it, you have the, uh, the canopy here to uh, add some uh, cement or water or whatever. And the only thing he doesn't have is a chute. To, uh, Pour out the uh, the stuff, but in the show we just kind of shot it with the, uh, a cannon, so makes sense. Uh, you have lots of accessories. You have this thing here, uh, the guardrail, you can remove um, easily, uh, but it's, uh, it's very nicely done. Uh, this is a little loose. That's the thing. These figures, everything is loose. I mean, look at the back of the foot. Everything moves. Even the cover here, that's, you know, they did, they didn't have to do this, but you know, there's a cover so that you hide all of this uh, part here. So, I mean, the engineering is well thought of, it's just the execution of it, I find a little lacking. See now, he, he wants to fall back down. Oh, okay, there we go. So, there you go. Sorry if I'm not that much enthusiastic about this guy. Um, and now I have to transform him, which is another part uh, that I don't really appreciate with this guy. But... It's a, a good, uh, it's a good alt mode. So let's, I'm not gonna pretend to do my whole gimmick thing on this series because it's bulky and they get in the way. And uh, so here you go. Uh, Mixmaster in uh, robot mode. Uh, oh, wait, I almost forgot to do the size comparison. So let's put this here. Here he is with Studio Series 86 Sludge, Earthrise Grapple. And this is where you see a huge difference between the MP scale and the Voyager. I think it fits to have uh, this guy here and then we're getting a repaint of all her so can't wait and the only other masterpiece figure I have uh, Sunstreaker so this guy is even bigger than regular masterpiece scale so I don't know what you call this ultra masterpiece I don't know but uh, there you go and now uh, let me uh, transform him and uh, get back to you with the alt mode Okay, so we're gonna start right away with the French word of the day, which is betaniae, which means cement truck. Uh, so yeah, this is the best mode, and I still hate it. Not because of what it looks, but because I can't transform him properly ever, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So if you look, everything lines up properly, but because of the waist crunch here, I can't. If I peg this one here into this hole there, then it unpegs the other. So I'm sorry guys, I've, I've been trying this for 15 minutes. I transformed him back and forth. It's not working and at this point, I don't care. He's good. Couple cons that I have against this guy is this, those pegs here. So basically this is just a little tab that you put in here but the moment you put a little pressure on it it untabs so that's extremely annoying I don't like it uh, he rolls pretty good and I was expecting rubber tires but they're well I guess they're hard rubber I don't want to put my fingernail into it but yeah no they're they're pretty hard rubber or soft plastic one or the other see this thing unpegged again god I hate this uh, I like the little flap here. I like that the gun is hidden here. And look, beside the hands, you don't have that much robot junk. I mean, it's what, what to be expected. But the style of the truck is really good. Uh, the 
Why is this moving? Yeah. The style is really good. I mean, you have this little feature here where you can add more uh, cement. Oh, one thing I want to point out, this here should be flushed. The only reason I'm leaving it unflushed is because it's extremely hard to pull out of there. Because that's where the connector for the foot goes. And I don't want to have to go through that again. So apologies, uh, this should be flush, but it's, it's simpler to leave it uh, like that because it doesn't affect transformation either mode and uh, it just looks a little weird but not that bad i love the paint well the paint it's uh, i don't think it's painted but uh, the, the the plastic the color the silver purple green looks really good um, there's another yellow version and there's the uh, dirty version uh, that kato has they all look good i mean i could have gotten the yellow one and still be happy but I like the Constructicon green. So this is the uh, truck mode, the Betania mode. And uh, now I'm going to do some size comparison. Sorry about the knock. So here is Mixmaster with Rainmaker Nova Storm, Classics Hot Rod, and Netflix Nemesis Prime. All right, so now I'm going to put him in foot mode. It's not something I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Only my best, Skybob. Only my best. Best. Okay, this was actually painful. Um... It looks like a foot. Uh, the problem is uh, balance. Uh, when he's going to be in uh, combined mode, the weight here, usually this pushes down on this because there's no tab. Actually, it's working better now. The first time I did it, these would cave in way more. So maybe I angled it better this time. Uh, maybe I got luckier. I don't know. Um, but when the weight is here, like it, he falls forward, and that's the thing. See, you push here, and then this opens up, and then he falls back and forward. Uh, so yeah, I wish there was something, and I didn't get the upgrade kit. I hear it helps with the stability. Uh, oh, see, I put uh, one up, one down, so I don't know which one should be which, so whatever. So yeah, sorry guys, I wish this was a more enthusiastic review, but not impressed with... Uh, mix master you know compared to the others uh but that's going to be the foot mode and then the uh, uh long haul is going to come and connect here on the foot so i mean it looks looks the part i mean the paint the details they translate well it's just that this these stabilizing peg here they don't hold this they just flap around i don't know if there's am i missing something i don't think so and then basically you take this uh, this part who used to be here, and you come and uh, plug it here and uh, on the side here. So that's your heel. Uh, it's just this is very loose. And you see under, you know, there's nothing holding everything together. Like I, I, I would, I, I would have liked something here that would have stabilized this here so that it doesn't push down. That would have been a, uh, a big plus. So that's going to be the final thoughts, guys, because I'm not uh, going to put him back in robot mode. And uh, this is the first of the series. And Hopefully, uh, I didn't dig discourage you guys too much with my uh, negativity, but it is what it is. I'm going to give you an honest review. I'm not a fan of Mo of Mixmaster. Uh, I wish these things would, you know, big and better. I wish he was more stable, and I wish the alt mode, I could uh, peg him properly, cabin and uh, trunk. So thanks for sticking around. I hope you've enjoyed this video nonetheless. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.